Michael, this is going to be big. Analysts suggest Black Ops 6 could lead between 2.5 and 4 million new Game Pass subscribers. Chris Scully, over at BGC. The release of Call of Duty Black Ops 6 on Game Pass will likely result in millions of new subscribers, analysts say. GamesIndustry.biz asked a number of leading analysts how they felt the release would impact the Game Pass subscriptions. While the answer varied, the consensus was that it would raise between it would raise be in the millions. Amper chief analyst Harris Harding Rolls told the publication that he felt the, the release of Black Ops 6 would result in a 10% increase in the number of Game Pass Ultimate Ultimate Michael, which yeah. is the top tier, right? Mm -hmm. Of subscribers, meaning that around 2.5 million new signups. He knows, however, that a good chunk of these won't be entirely new to Game Pass, but will instead likely be upgraded from the Game Pass Core or Game Pass Standard, neither of which offer Black Ops 6 on its release day. Wedbush Securities Managing Director Michael Pachter, well known as an analyst within our industry, that's just me going off now, said he believed, quote, Xbox could see as many as 3 to 4 million new Game Pass Ultimate subscriptions as a result of Black Ops 6 release, but warned that he also predicted around 6 million fewer traditional sales of the game, given that numerous existing Game Pass Ultimate subscribers will want to play it too. Hmm. It's in a unique spot, Michael, mm -hmm. and this is where we are going, okay, how well will this do? Because Call of Duty, year after year after year, top sales. A yep. billion dollars in like just a few days, right? Or a billion copies. It's just ridiculous money that this game makes year in and year out. We always talk about, are we going to get Call of Duty fatigue? And then the next year rolls around, dude, and it's one of the best-selling games all. Like, yep. That year, that generation, like it's just massive, massive numbers until we get to GTA 6. Whole different story. But... Is this enough to keep Game Pass afloat? Because we hear Microsoft complaining that, oh, everything's plateaued. They're going for this service. Will this pull in for the service? But then what's that do to the final sales numbers? Because instead, you're switching from hardcore sales to now in-game subscription. What would they rather have? I always said, dude, all they care about, honestly, at the end of the day, is getting Game Pass subscribers. No, I, I think you're totally right, especially now this helps that Microsoft, since they own Activision, kind of profits off both, right? You go to Game Pass, that helps out Microsoft. You buy a hard copy of the game, that helps out Microsoft. No, I think you're right. At the end of the day, I think Xbox and Microsoft have decided we are full in on making Game Pass sort of our exclusive content. Right? We want people to pick Game Pass over PS Plus. And I think this game is going to exactly support that. At the end of the day, yeah, we might say raw sale numbers of COD are down, but as you said, as we talked about, it's because now 3 million people paid the extra $10 to go from core Game Pass to Ultimate Game Pass. I think the interesting one will be, let's skip ahead eight months. How long do those people say subscribed, right? Are we going to be saying, oh, all of a sudden Ultimate Game Pass subscriptions are down 20% because everyone's like, okay, I played Call of Duty. I forgot about it for a few months. Now I'm going to downgrade my subscription plan back to the core, back to standard wait for the next one to call uh, to come out very curious to see what happens but i think microsoft is fine with this they say look we want you on game pass we want to hook you in if black ops is what it takes to hook you in you're probably going to stay or they want to think you're going to stay because of everything else they all are on ultimate i'm very curious if the sales number end up looking like right i'm very curious if, as you said maybe we finally get the sales numbers are lower because of instead of paying 60 you only pay 20 to play it on game pass very very interested to see but we're never going to get call of duty fatigue i'm actually as you mentioned really looking forward to next year right call of duty usually comes out around this time around october gta we expect to come out around this time uh -huh. very curious to see if call of duty gets a release date bump maybe they work something out behind closed doors with rockstar hey we're coming out this day give us a month you'll come out this day we'll have to see but i'm very curious because you're right call of duty just keeps going crazy i'm gonna hop on you're probably gonna hop on I'm not the biggest Black Ops fan, and I'm still going to hop on. So, at the end of the day, Call of Duty just keeps playing. Dude, I'm a Black Ops through and through. I want the <laughs> campaign. I love those campaigns. They're all the stealth, espionage stuff. So, that's for, that is for me, right? This is my go-to Call of Duty game. When it comes to the multiplayer side, I'll maybe dabble and then bail out. <laughs> what I'm really curious about, though, is how many Game Pass subscribers 
came from PlayStation. How many were they able to pull from that mind share and go, hey, instead of paying 80 bucks on PlayStation, you can get it over here on Game Pass. And then you get all of our other library of games as well, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a big enticing little nugget there when you use a game like Call of Duty to say, hey, come into Game Pass. This is where you want to play. Mm -hmm. But granted, Michael, you and I both know your friends are on a console. You're not likely to leave that console, are you?